This is a short video on accessing BCCC Library Services using Canvas. While you are working off campus, please log in to Canvas. Once you log into Canvas, on the left hand side, click the Library button. In a few seconds, the Libraries page will appear here. Once you're in Canvas and you've clicked on the Libraries page, you can scroll down and view the many of the services that the library provides. Presently, the library is closed, so even though we have the online catalog available to you, this is where you would go for print books, CDs, DVDs, and more. Because the library is closed, you're not going to be able to access those books in print, DVDs, and more but there are other services that you can access from Canvas. One of those services is eBooks. eBooks are just electronic books that you can access from any uh, computer, laptop, tablet, many smartphones. To access eBooks within Canvas at the library's page, click eBooks. In a few seconds, the EBSCO eBooks page will load, and you just type in what you want to research. In my example, I will type in cancer, and I will click search. And eBooks dealing with cancer will now appear. To access an eBook, just click on the link to that eBook and give it a few seconds for that ebook to load. At the top of the page, there's your title. Here are your authors. Here's the publication information. And here's a brief description on what the book is about. I'll scroll down towards the bottom of the page to access the table of contents. The table of contents are hyperlinks. And these hyperlinks are to individual chapters or sections in the book. To access that chapter or section, just click on its link and give it a few seconds because it'll take a few seconds for it to load, but it will load. Once loaded, you can scroll up, scroll down, read through the book, and more. Now, oftentimes students want to uh, save pages to a flash drive, email pages from an ebook or print out some pages. Uh, the number of pages that you're able to save, print, or email, it's going to vary based upon the uh, book. On the left hand side, this will tell me that I can print, email, and save up to 100 pages. To save pages to your flash drive, just click Save Pages, select the pages that you want to save, and then click OK. To email pages, just click on email, select the pages you want to email to yourself, and then send it. Uh, to print out pages, just click on print pages, select the number of pages, and then click print. So you print, you can save, and you can email. And the thing with email is, one of the things is you will have to type in your email address. You can either use the BCCC email address or you can use a personal email address. It doesn't matter. Just provide an email address to email pages to yourself. So that's ebooks. Let's go back to the libraries page. In addition to ebooks, you can access library databases. Databases are where you're going to go to find articles from journals articles from magazines, articles from newspapers, and many, many more. To access the databases, just click on Databases. When you see the listing of the databases that the library has for students, look at the top of the list. Some of the most popular databases will appear at the top. There is Academic OneFile, Academic Search Premier, African-American historical serials, biography and context, 
and then many, many more. I've just clicked on the first link, the one for the Academic One file database, which is provided by Gale, and it will look like you see on my screen. Up at the top is the search box, and I will type in my research term, cancer, and I'll click the search button. And here you go. And you're going to see many, many articles dealing with that subject. And I chose cancer as my subject for my research. And here you go. Now, for this database, they group the results. The first thing you're going to see are academic journal articles. Okay? And they are all listed here. If there's one that you want, just click on it, pull up the article, and away you go. Same is true for magazines. If you want magazine articles, just click on magazines. Pull up an article. I'll click on the first one. And here you go. So let's say you want this article. Your options are to download it, save it to your flash drive, send it to yourself via email. If you want to send it to yourself, just you know, click on send to, uh, type in your email address, click send, and in a few minutes the article will appear in your inbox. And of course you can always print out the article. Let me go back to my search results. I have book sources, newspaper articles, images, videos, audio clips, many, many items here just from this one database academic one file. Let me go back to my list and I'm going to click on the next database which is academic search. This is EBSCO's academic search and this is where you're going to go for their articles and journals, magazines and newspapers. Before uh, typing in my search term I'm going to scroll down the page a little bit and I'm going to put a check mark here where it says full text. You're going to be telling the database, I know you have a lot of stuff, only show me articles that I can print out. I'll scroll back up to the top, type in your search term, and I'm choosing cancer as my uh, search term for my research. I'll click search, and articles dealing with cancer will appear here. Now, they group all my results in one, whether it's a journal article, magazine article, newspaper article, or, or whatnot. If you want to, to want to limit that result to, let's say, just magazine articles, just put a check mark down here on the left, and it will change the results to show only magazine articles. And here you go. The power of tomatoes. Let's say I want to read that article. Click on the link, pull it up, and here you go. If this is an article you want, and you want to, let's say, save it to your flash drive, click the Save button here. If you want to email the article to yourself, click on Email, type in your email address, click Send, and in 10 minutes the article will appear in your inbox. And of course, if you want to print out the article, Go ahead and click the print button and print out the article. The third database I want to show you is Biography in Context. If you ever have to research a famous person, the best database to use is called Biography in Context. It's by the Gale Company. So up here is your search box and I'm going to type in Michael Jordan. And I'll click search. There's Michael Jordan. Here's the first paragraph of an article on Michael Jordan. And here's some quick facts about Michael Jordan. To let's say read this article, just click read more. And here's the article. And just like the other databases, you have your three options. You can download the article, save it to your flash drive. You can send it to yourself via email by clicking the Send To button, type in your email address. 
And then the third option is to print out the article just by clicking the print button. So you can download, email, or print this article to yourself. Let me go back to that previous page. Here's one article dealing with Michael Jordan, but when you're at the main page here for your su subject, just start scrolling down the page. You'll have recommended content here on the left, biographies. There's three links here. There's actually 15 biographies if you click here. If I scroll down more, there are images of Michael Jordan. We have 18 images, two academic journal articles, nine videos, 12 audio clips, 1,601 newspaper articles, just the first three are shown here. You would have to click here to get all 1,601 newspaper articles. There are 355 magazine articles and a recommended website. So if you ever need to research a famous individual, Biography and Context is the database you want to use. So let's say you found some great ebooks to use for your research. Let's say you found some great articles from journals, from magazines, from newspapers, just by using our databases. You've collected all your information and you're starting to work on your paper. Now, some instructors may say to you, this paper must be done in MLA style, or this paper must be done in APA style. If you've never done a paper in MLA or APA, the library has MLA guides and APA guides that are available to you, which include handouts, sample papers, templates, and much, much more. So when you get a chance, check out the MLA guide and the APA guide, which are on the library's page. What if you're in the middle of doing some research, you've you found some information, but not enough, you're a little bit unsure of what to do? Well, you can get help from the librarians. You can always email us at libraryhelp at bccc.edu. You can also enter into a chat session with a BCCC librarian by clicking on BCCC Live Chat. Now, the chat service that is available to students is available Monday through Thursday, 8 a.m. to 9 p.m., Fridays and Saturdays from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. We are not available on Sundays. All you have to do is click on BCCC LibChat, type in your research question, and a librarian will get online and enter into a chat session with you and help you with your research needs. So when you're at home and you need some library services, always log on to Canvas. On the left-hand side, click the Library button and access our many, many library services. That's it.